I'm Todd Baker, Principal of Empowerment Ergonomics and Lead Consultant for the Cornell Musculoskeletal Injury Prevention Program. And we are pleased to bring you this video series on how to improve your comfort and productivity while working from home. Today's topic, input devices. Interaction with our keyboard and mouse and other input devices can certainly uh, expose our extremities to certain risk factors. Discomfort that we perceive coming from our keyboard and our mouse may actually be a result of our workstation design. That's why we emphasize good supported seating and having a work surface that's the proper height. Once we've achieved that, oftentimes standard keyboard and mouse products are good enough to use without risk of discomfort. However, consider these concepts to ensure good fit and neutral postures. When using the keyboard and mouse, the shoulders should be relaxed, arms hanging comfortably at the sides, forearms level, and hands and wrists relatively neutral. A common cause of shoulder deviation is awkward reaching for the mouse. If your keyboard is too wide and you have to reach out to the side in order to access the mouse, that external rotation of the shoulder becomes a risk factor. Risky wrist deviations can occur from keyboard and mouse design or positioning. For example, if the keyboard is tilted toward the user, wrist extension may occur. Instead, level the keyboard to promote a more neutral wrist position. If you have an adjustable keyboard tray, you may be able to slope it slightly away. Also consider the shape, size, and profile of the mouse you select. Looking at the types of mice here, if the mouse is too narrow and promotes pinching of the thumb and the pinky in opposition, that can put compression on the median nerve. If the mouse is too large or too wide, uh, there may be a tendency to claw in order to control the mouse, so tendonitis or discomfort along those lines may occur. Likewise, if the mouse is too round or too flat, it may make it a little bit more difficult to control. When selecting a mouse, find the size and the shape that seem to most comfortably support your hand in a relaxed position. More specialized devices like vertical or handshake mice or curved or tented keyboard products can, in the right situation, promote improved posture and reduce discomfort. However, these devices can be expensive, so we recommend checking with your friendly ergonomics consultant to help you select the best product for you. If you use a laptop for extended periods of time, the navigation and input of the trackpad and buttons can promote some awkward postures. Consider whether a peripheral mouse would be useful in reducing these risk factors. We certainly hope these tips will help you improve your home workspace, but even with the best workstation design, you'll still have exposure to risk factors, repetitive motion, muscle tension, awkward postures. In this series, we've tried to cover the basics for improving your comfort and productivity at your home workspace. Thanks very much for watching. Please let us know of any additional topics that may interest you, and let's keep the conversation going.